Hi, I'm Mark from Coffee Break Languages, and in this video, I'm going to be helping you access all of the Coffee Break Academy materials on your iPad. I hope that this is useful. First of all, it's important to state that all of our Coffee Break Academy resources can be accessed on any browser. So if you're used to using Safari to access the web, then you'll be able to access all our audio, video and lesson notes through Safari. This will, however, mean that you need to be online and you can easily save the media files to play back later. If you'd like to do this, that's exactly what we're going to be covering in this video. We'll be learning two different ways to access the Coffee Break Academy content. Firstly, using the inbuilt native files app, which has been part of the iPad and iPhone operating system since iOS 11. The benefits of using this app are that you'll probably already have this app, assuming you have a recent device. It allows you to save audio, video and text files to your device, organize them in folders, save and unzip zip files, which we use for downloading lessons in bulk in some of our courses, and also use the inbuilt PDF viewer to access the lesson notes and make your own notes on them. However, there are some limitations of the Files app. For example, you can't listen to audio and read notes at the same time. You can't create playlists or skip forwards or backwards in an audio or video file. And you can't slow down or speed up our lessons, which is something many of our students like to do. But all is not lost. The second app we're going to look at is called Documents, made by a company called Readle. This app allows you to do all of the things we've mentioned and more. We'll work through both options in the video. Again, you can skip ahead to the appropriate part of the video for you. Let's begin then with Safari open here on my iPad. I'm going to go to the Coffee Break Academy by entering coffeebreakacademy.com in the address bar. I'll log in with my usual username and password. And I can now see all the courses I have in my account. Let's take a look at one of these courses. We'll choose Coffee Break Italian Season 1 as an example. When I tap on Season 1 on Coffee Break Italian, the course opens up in the outline form and I can choose a lesson to work on. So I'm going to go to Lesson 3 here. I can watch the video lesson. Let's just play this. Coffee Break Italian Season 1 Lesson 3. And I can skip ahead as I need to. But I'm talking about me, I would say, io sto bene. We can also use... I can also go to the audio lesson and listen to the audio lesson and I can read through the lesson notes. But I'd like to be able to do more with this and be able to download the materials to my iPad so that I can use them later when I don't have internet access. So let's start with this set of notes. If I scroll to the bottom of the page, now at the moment I'm scrolling within the document itself in the preview viewer, but if I actually use my finger on the right hand side here on the white or on the left hand side of uh, the documents area, the actual whole page moves up and I can see the download link at the bottom. Now this bit is really important and it's something we'll be getting used to throughout this video. I'm going to tap and hold on this link in order to see all my options. You'll see here that one of the options is download linked file. So if we tap on that, the PDF document will start to download and you may notice a little downloads icon appearing at the top of your browser. If you tap on this, you'll see all the documents you've downloaded. But where does it actually go? That's where your files app comes in. It's the iPad's native file storage system. Let's take a look at files. I've got it here in my dock. Uh, you may have it also in your dock. If you don't have it in your dock, just tap on your home screen somewhere in the middle, swipe downwards gradually, and you'll see the search area appear. Start typing files, and you'll see the files app open. We are now in the file browser of the iPad. You'll see in the area on the left there are various locations. These include on my iPad and iCloud Drive. If I have on my iPad selected, I can see the file storage area for the various apps I use. You can customise this. Let's create a folder for all our Coffee Break Academy content. Up at the top right, I am going to click on the Add Folder button, so it's a folder icon with a little plus sign. If I tap that, I'm going to give it a name, Coffee Break Academy, and uh, press Return. While I'm here, I'm also going to make this new folder one of my favourites. So if I tap and hold, again that same function, tap and hold on the folder, and I see all the options, 
and I tap on Favourite. And so now Coffee Break Academy appears as one of my favourites on the left. OK, let's get back to that PDF we downloaded for Coffee Break Italian. We downloaded it from Safari. So if I tap on the Downloads folder, which I can find here in my favourites, I'll see the file in the list. If I tap in the, the file, I can open it and read the document. Or if I want, I can also make some notes in the document. So with, a, with my finger or with a stylus or with Apple Pencil here. So I can make my own notes on the document. But I don't want all of my downloads to be stored just in this documents folder. Let's copy this document into the folder I created for the Coffee Break Academy. Now there are various ways to do this, but the easiest one is by using the tap and hold method. So if I tap and hold again on the document here and I tap move, I've got the selection of all my folders here. If I tap on Coffee Break Academy and tap on copy. And now when I go into Coffee Break Academy, I have my document there. Let's try this with another file from Safari. So swipe up from the bottom of the screen and go back to Safari. I am going to do an audio file this time. So this is lesson three bonus audio. So if I tap on this, once again, I want to tap and hold on that download button. Coffee Break Italian. And download Season. link file. Once again, we can see the download activated up here. If I now go back to files and I can go into my downloads and I can see now that that audio file is in the downloads folder. Same as before, let's copy this file into our Coffee Break Academy folder. I'm going to do it slightly differently this time. I'm just going to tap and then start to drag this file into the Coffee Break Academy. So it's now there in the Coffee Break Academy. I can see that I have the audio there as well as the text files. Now, if I want, I could make additional folders within my Coffee Break Academy folder. So for example, I could create a new folder for audio files and a new folder for text files and so on. And then I can just reorganize my content here by tapping and holding and dragging into the appropriate place. So that's option one, the easiest way to save the audio, video and text files of the Coffee Break courses to your iPad using the iPad's inbuilt files app. However, as I said earlier, there are some restrictions. You can't create playlists of audio files, you can't skip forwards and backwards while you're listening to audio, and it's impossible to listen to the audio while viewing the notes. And that's why we recommend that you use the Documents app. The process is very similar, but the Documents app gives additional functionality which will make your life easier and your experience better. Let's now look at how you use the Documents app to access the Coffee Break Academy resources. If you don't have the Documents app already on your iPad, it's a free download from the App Store. There are optional in-app purchases, but everything I explain in this video is done within the free app. When you first open the Documents app, you'll see that it looks quite similar to the Files app. On the left, there are areas for My Files. Don't worry too much about the other options just now. If I tap on My Files, I can see a few preset options. Before we go any further, let's create a new folder for our Coffee Break Academy resources. I tap on the big plus button at the bottom right of the screen and select new folder. I'll give the folder a name. And once we've created the folder, I can click on the three dots below and add it to my favourites. I can now see it in my favourites on the left of the screen. Now, this next bit is absolutely crucial. In the first part of this video, where we looked at using Safari and the Files app, we were working with two separate apps. We used the Safari browser to access the Coffee Break Academy, and then the Files app to store and access our downloaded files. With the Documents app, it's a bit different. There's a browser within the Documents app, so we only need one app in order to access the Coffee Break Academy and also to access the downloaded files. On the left of the screen, I can currently see the list of locations, including My Files, Dropbox, Computer, and so on. Now, note that I can also minimize this list by tapping the Minimize button down here. I tap it again to reveal the full list. What we're going to do is use the Browser function of the app to access the Coffee Break Academy. If we tap on Browser, then you'll see here that we have a normal browser which looks just like Safari. There's an address bar at the top and we'll enter coffeebreakacademy.com. 
Now, I'm going to have to log into the Academy, even though I may be logged in in Safari, the Documents browser doesn't know that. So I'll need to log in with my username and password. And once I've done that, we'll be able to see my account in the Coffee Break Academy. The Documents browser is just like any other browser. We could, if we wanted, just use this to access the audio, video and text documents for the Coffee Break courses. But we want to download the materials and this is where things get very easy. Let's open Coffee Break Spanish Season 1 as an example. If I navigate to a video lesson, let's see, as usual, I'll see the download button underneath the video. Now, if I tap and hold on the link, I'll see the menu appear and the top option is download link. Tap on that and documents will ask where I want to save that link to. If I click on the right arrow here in the save to field, I can navigate to Coffee Break Academy, the folder I created earlier, and go back to save file. If I always want to download files to that folder, I can actually turn off the ask me every time option. I'm going to keep that on for now. If I tap on done, you'll now see that the downloads icon at the top of the screen has a little red one beside it. Now this may take some time depending on your connection to the internet, but that means now I've got one new file downloaded and I can actually see here in my downloads, there's the file there. Now since both the browser and the file storage area are part of the Documents app, I don't need to leave the app now to find the file I've just downloaded. Instead, I just tap on My Files in the left-hand menu, and if I open the folder that I created earlier, Coffee Break Academy, you can see there that I have the file that I've just downloaded. Tapping on it will open it full screen and it starts playing. I'll just pause that here. Now, we'll come back to the video player soon, but for now we know we can download a video and access it within Documents. Let's try the same with a PDF document. I'm going to close the video by tapping on the X at the top left. Let's go back to the browser and navigate in the Coffee Break Academy to a set of lesson notes. So here we've got the lesson notes. Once again, I'll scroll down to the bottom of the page, not the page within the PDF viewer, but the whole page by tapping on the right or the left in the white margin. And I can tap and hold and select download link. I'm going to choose my Coffee Break Academy again, save file and done. And the download goes up to our downloads folder. So you can see that downloads there are listed. We've downloaded the video and now we've downloaded the notes. Okay. I can go back to my files and I can now open the notes and I can view them and I can even annotate things as before or highlight things and so on. Finally, let's do the same with an audio file. So back to the browser, find an audio lesson, tap and hold on the link and download the file. Now, just as we do this, I want you to look carefully at this name. It says cbs103audio.mp3. Okay, I'm going to cancel that and show you what happens if I just tap on the download link instead of tapping and holding. If I tap on the download link, then I do eventually get the save file as, but it says unknown. It doesn't know what kind of file that is because we've not tapped and held to download the linked file. It's trying to, in some way, download that word link. Uh, but what we need to do in order to make sure that this works is tap and hold and tap on download link. And now we see that it's got the right file. It's downloading CBS 103 audio. Okay, so I'm going to put that into the Coffee Break Academy folder again. Again, if I want to, I can de-click the Ask Me Every Time and it will always go into that folder I've chosen. Select Done and the audio file starts downloading. Okay, we can go back to My Files and we can now see that the audio file is there. If I tap on it, the audio file starts playing in a mini audio player which appears at the bottom of the screen. This means that my audio will continue to play while, for example, I open up the notes. So let's just try that. 
Hola y bienvenidos a Coffee Break Spanish. Welcome back to Coffee Break Spanish. Yo soy Mark. Me llamo. So you can hear that the audio continues to play while you're doing other things. So you could listen to the audio and make annotations on the notes as you listen. Now, if you want more control over the audio, we can just tap on the player. So we tap on the file name of the player and you can see now there's a playback speed button. So if I tap on this, we can now play the audio uh, more slowly. For example, if there's a complex part of the audio, we can choose to play it back at 0.5 times. Or we can choose to play it more quickly if we want to review something. So let's do 1.75 times. Now you may prefer just to listen at one times. That's okay. One other thing to mention about the audio player, if you want to skip ahead in the audio, swipe to the left on the audio image. So up here, just swipe to the left and you can see what happens. The audio will skip ahead in five second intervals. So as I play this, I'm going to do this. Can, can you remember how to say, my name is Mark, my, demo, my name is, and then give your name. Wait, introduce the phrase for you. And similarly, if we want to skip backwards, we swipe to the right. Demo Mark, at one point, introduce. You try to think name is Mark. Me. And this lets you simply skip backwards and forwards if you've missed something. It takes a little bit of practice, but once you get used to it, it's very straightforward and it's a handy tool. Let's just revisit the video player before we move on. When we open the video, it starts playing automatically. You have pause and play buttons at the bottom left, and you can use the speed button at the bottom right to change the playback speed of the video. To skip ahead when the video is playing, double tap on the right of the screen. Finding out where they're looking at how to introduce me. My name is and to skip backwards Cara, can you remember on the left of the screen. The so we can now access the Coffee Break Academy using the browser of the Documents app and access the downloaded files from the My Files area. We've created our own folder within the My Files area. And if we want, we can create further folders within that folder to organize files for different courses and so on. So if I come back to My Files here in my Coffee Break Academy folder, I could add a new folder here for uh, audio files. We can organize our files within here, tap and hold on this and drag it into the audio files. It's very straightforward. Now, there's one final thing I'd like to show you, and that's how to download the audio, video, and text documents for our courses in bulk. Let's go back to the browser, and we'll navigate out to the top level where we've got all our courses. So we'll come back to My Courses. And for this example, I am going to choose Coffee Break French uh, Season 3 as an example. So let's open up this course. In the orientation section of this course, there's an item called Downloading Lessons in Bulk to your computer or device. So if I tap on that, we access this area here. Now, you should be aware that this option is not available for all courses. For example, at the time of recording this video, we're only halfway through the publishing of our Coffee Break Swedish course. So the bulk download option will only be available when that course is complete. We'll be adding bulk download options to our shorter courses in the coming weeks too. If I navigate to the bulk download section of the orientation module, you'll see a list of files to download. And the names of all these files end in zip. There are special types of files which contain other files and they're all zipped together. Now, because these files contain lots of audio, video and text documents, they are very large. So you need to think about this both in terms of storage space available on your device and in terms of your internet connection. Large files will take a long while to download and you don't want to be doing that if you don't have access to Wi-Fi. Some of the files for some courses are over one gigabyte in size, so these are very large indeed. Remember, this option is not compulsory. You can easily download the individual files for the lessons you're working on at any one time. The bulk option is there for convenience, but it may not be the right option for you. Let's see what happens when we download one of the zip files. I'm going to choose this first zip file for Coffee Break French Season 3. Once again, if I tap and hold on the document, select download link. I'm going to navigate to the Coffee Break Academy, but this time I want to create a new folder in there. So I'm going to call this Coffee Break French Season 3. 
create. So I want to put this particular file into my Coffee Break French Season 3 folder. Go back to Save File and select Done. Now the file will start to download, but because it's a big file, it will take much longer to download. We can check the progress by tapping on the download icon up here, and you can see that that is downloading. It's at 20% at the moment. I'll speed this up on the video to make this faster. Okay, once the file has downloaded completely, we can now go back to My Files, navigate to the folder that we chose, and we'll see the zip file downloaded. We need to unzip these files in order to access them. To do that, we simply tap on the file, and it will process, and we'll now see a new folder. Now, the folder name is a little bit ugly. Let's change that, tap on the three dots, rename, and we'll call this Lessons 1 to 10. Okay. I can now open the folder, and here are all the files that have been downloaded associated with this part of the course. So it's Lessons 1 to 10 of Coffee Break French Season 3, and they're all downloaded already. I can also choose to view them as a list or as a grid, if that's easier. We hope that you find this useful and that by accessing the materials in this way, you'll be able to take full advantage of the Coffee Break Academy materials on your own device. I hope that this has been useful. If you've enjoyed the video, then give it a like. And if you'd like more videos to help you with your language learning, then make sure you subscribe to our Coffee Break Languages channel here on YouTube and click the little bell icon that appears in order for you to be notified anytime we publish new content. Thanks very much and see you again soon. Happy coffee breaking!